Hi there. My name is Laura. In this video we will talk about the risk assessment process. The next step after the risk identification is the risk assessment process. Risk assessment forms an integral part of the overall risk management process. It provides current and up-to-date snapshot of the risks to the business. The risk assessment process involves analyzing risks as well as their likelihood and impact on the organization's critical business functions. It also analyzes existing security controls as well as defines additional safeguards to mitigate the identified risks. Before the risk assessment is started, it is necessary to identify its scope. Risk assessment can focus on physical, technology, or personnel security. Trying to assess all of them at the same time can be quite an undertaking. Some of the factors affecting the risk assessment scope include organizations' compliance requirements as well as time and budgetary constraints. The scope of the assessment is defined by the company's senior management. They must appoint a team to carry out the assessment and allocate the necessary time and funds to conduct the assessment. Let's review the major steps involved in the risk assessment process. First, we will determine the impact and likelihood of the risk scenarios. In this step you analyze the risk scenarios based on organizational criteria. This criteria consists of organization structure, policies and procedure, its technology infrastructure, architecture, and security controls. The goal of performing this step is to measure the potential occurrence of operational risk events and resulting magnitude of harm. After determining the likelihood and impact of risk, it is necessary to determine the severity of the risk. In this step you can utilize the risk criteria to calculate risk severity by assigning scores to its likelihood and impact. The goal of risk analysis is to ensure that security is cost-effective, relevant, timely, and responsive to threats. There are two main risk analysis techniques. Quantitative risk analysis quantifies the risk and assigns it monetary or numerical values. Qualitative risk analysis assigns ratings to the risks such as red, yellow, and green or high, medium, and low. Next, you perform data and control gap analysis to analyze the efficacy of existing security controls as well as identify any improvements for mitigating risk. Data analysis is the review of information available from different sources such as applications, logs, audit reports, etc., to determine the state of controls. Gap analysis identifies the difference, or gap, between the current state of the controls or risk and its desired state. The purpose of this step is to measure the capability and maturity of the risk management processes of the organization. Finally, it is very important to record the results of risk assessment in the company's risk register. This risk register include details such as risk severity, current control state, risk owner, treatment plan, and much more. The results of the risk assessment process should be compiled into a risk assessment report and submitted to senior management. This report should also include the recommended ways to deal with the risk. Risk assessment helps senior management make informed decisions about implementation of security controls to mitigate risk. Risk assessment should take place at regular time intervals or after a major organizational change. This will enable the company to deal with newly introduced risks and improve its security posture. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!